Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Remington Core Locked Copper, the 150 grain load in 308 Winchester. And here is your box for that Remington Core Locked Copper, 150 grain hollow point 308 Winchester load. This is the very first Core Locked Copper load I have tested on the channel. Really looking forward to this. The box looks really nice. Pretty photo of a deer. Let's go down. The icons are deer, elk, and hog. So that's sort of your intended game. Basically your general medium to medium large game is what this stuff is meant for. Let's go ahead and flip this around to the back. A lot of promo information on this right here. It just has some info on, you know, the deadliest mushroom in the woods now in copper. So they've extended their core locked line to include all copper bullets coming over here. We've got some more promo info on the cartridge itself, the bullet and everything. Feel free to stop, pause and read all that if you would like to, but let's take a look at the ballistics table. If I can get my camera to focus, there we go, and it does have the barrel length listed, 24 inch test barrel. We will be shooting these from a 22 inch barreled Ruger American, which I think is very appropriate for 308 Winchester. Most of your 308 Winchester hunting rifles have a 22 inch or shorter barrel, so we probably won't quite hit that muzzle velocity of 2820, but two inches of barrel in a 308 should not make or break anything. The velocity shouldn't be that far off. Let's go ahead and open this stuff up and take a look, and I will say, I've actually had some factory 308 ammo come in over uh, if I can get this stuff out, come in over the factory spec velocity. Federal Fusion actually did that with multiple loads, uh, multiple different uh, bullet weights where it was actually faster than box spec. And look right there, we have that blue primer sealant that you usually see on Federal ammo is now on this Remington copper core lock line. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and pull one out. And there is your hollow point there. Interesting stuff. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white-tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Remington Core Locked Copper Hollow Point 150 grain load out of the 308, minimum 2887, max 2899, average 2893. And look at that spread, 12.6 feet per second, nice and tight. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Remington Core Locked Copper 150 grain stuff out of the 308. We captured all three bullets way back here in the third block, and the blocks are a little dark colored. It's the nature of the beast. I can't use brand new blocks for every load. But we've got one way down there at 36 inches and two right at 36 and a half inches. And we'll dig these out in a second so we can take a look at them. But as far as wound cavity is concerned coming up here, not massive wound tracks. You can see, you can kind of see them in the block. They're kind of narrow. And they didn't kick the blocks around quite as much as some other 308 Winchester loads, which is par for the course for solid copper bullets. What they do is they go in, expand some, create a nice little wound cavity, nothing crazy, and penetrate really deep, which is what these did. I'm trying to get another angle so the sunlight will shine in there. You can kind of see the wound track there. It's a long wound track, but not very wide. So let's go ahead and dig these things out and take a look. 
All right, y'all, we've dug the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. These are the Remington Core Locked Copper 150 grain hollow points out of the 308 Winchester. Weight retention, 150 grains across the board for all three bullets. That's 100% weight retention. Pretty par for the course for solid copper monolithic bullets. Wouldn't really expect anything less. Expansion. 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.58 inches for an average of about 0.58 inches expanded diameter. Extremely consistent, and that works out to 1.9x expansion, which is about what I've seen from solid copper bullets in your standard hunting calibers. They don't tend to have a whole ton of retained expansion. They go out to about 1.8, 1.9x. Some are even smaller than that. Rarely actually do they hit 2x or more retained expansion. On to velocity. This is somewhere where this particular load blew it out of the park. Chalk it up to whatever you want, but our high velocity was 2,900 feet per second. Our low was 2,887 for an average of 2,893 versus the factory build velocity of 2,820 feet per second. So look at this, 73 feet per second fast on average versus factory spec. Even our low velocity was faster than the box spec velocity. Make of that what you will, I'm happy with it. We gotta take what we can get. And our estimated velocity at impact down there at 100 yards is about 2,690 feet per second. Penetration wise, these are solid copper monolithic bullets. They're meant to penetrate deep and they absolutely did. Phenomenal penetration, 36 inches, 36 and a half inches and 36 and a half inches. For an average, we're gonna go ahead and round up to 36 and a half inches of penetration. These things went three feet deep. Absolutely bonkers for a 308 Winchester. And on a kinetic energy with a 150 grain bullet going a screaming 2,893 feet per second, we're looking at 2,787 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,411 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. These things are going to hit like a sledgehammer for a 308. Right. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all. Time for my final thoughts on this Remington Core Locked Copper 150 grain load out of the 308 Winchester. This stuff is an absolute beast of a load. Assuming they're loading them all like this, I don't know if maybe I got a box that had a couple extra gain, grains of gunpowder in it or what. Make of it what you will. All I can go off of is what I have. Phenomenal performance across the board. 100% weight retention, great expansion for a solid copper 1.9X. You tend not to see much more than that out of solid coppers. Velocity blew it out of the park. 73 feet per second fast on average. I'll take that every time I can get it. And penetration, absolutely phenomenal. Three feet plus. There's not a bad thing I can say about this ammo. If Remington continues to load the stuff like this, we've got a real winner on our hands. So what would I use this stuff for? Well, my gosh, if I needed to go deep with a 308 Winchester, this would be a great option. Elk, mule deer, black bear, your bigger stuff, heck on even up into moose, caribou, stuff like that. This would be an excellent load for that. We're penetrating deep and hitting hard. I'm sure it would absolutely wreck any deer's day. And if I needed a, you know, non-lead, non-toxic, you know, ammo option for wherever I'm hunting, maybe your state has regulations or the particular area, area you're hunting has those regulations, this would be towards the top of my list. So all in all, absolutely phenomenal performance from this ammunition. If you've used this stuff on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.